Hi guys, Daz here with another hot comic book alert. This time it's episode 436, and this one's spoilerific, so be warned. We are talking yesterday's incredible Moon Knight finale. For me, the best MCU Disney Plus episode to date. Yeah, following Mark Spector's apparent death in episode 5, the finale began with Arthur Harrow releasing Amit, the crocodile-headed goddess who set about sucking out the souls of the people of Cairo. And forced to fight alone, Layla infiltrated Harrow's cult in intending to kill him. But Tawaret, the sassy hippo goddess, contacted her through dead people to tell her to free Konshu from his Ushapti instead. When Layla did so, the God of Vengeance decreed that she had to take her husband's place as his avatar. And of course, Layla refused, leaving Konshu to battle Amit alone. Cornered by Haru's disciples, Layla quickly came up with another plan, agreeing to become Tawaret's avatar instead. And much like Mark, this power upgrade came up with some new sweet threads. Enter the Scarlet Scarab. Now, being Tawaret's avatar grants Layla not only superhuman strength, she's shown through breaking through a wall of solid rock, but also comes with a handy dandy addition of armoured metallic wings that allow her to fly much like Mark Spector's Moon Knight cloak. Now her matching bracelets are also useful for deflecting Harrow's soul-sucking energy blasts. So who is the Scarlet Scarab in the comics? Now although we, many of us believed, myself included, that the Scarlet Scarab was an original creation for the show, that's not strictly true because her superhero persona reveals that she's actually a gender flipped and very loose adaptation of Mehmet Faul, the second Scarlet Scarab in the comics. As Layla's father is Abdullah El Fayi, Mehmet's dad is the similarly named Abdul Faul. Now, while Abdullah was a mere archaeologist, though Ab Abdul Faul was the sworn protector of Egypt using a mystical talisman called the Ruby Scarab to tr transform him into the crimson fighting alter ego operating during the World War II. Abdul led the Sons of Scarab super team and even once allied with Captain America against the invading Nazis. Now following Abdul's death, Mehmet inherits the Ruby Scarab and becomes the second Scarab of the present day. Now, if you've never heard of either of the Fowls, don't feel bad, they have not shown up in many comics at all. In fact, they've only shown up in seven between them. Abdul was created by Roy Thomas and Frank Roberts in 1977, with Mehmet following in 1983, as conceived by Moon Knight creator Doug Moench and Alan Kupperberg. Now, the image that I'm going to show you is very, very different from the image we got in the show. First up, here we go. Here's Layla as the Scarlet Scarab. And I thought she was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, reminded me of a bit of a mashup of Hulk Girl and Wonder Woman, if you could say. And here is an image of the Scarlet Scarab from the comics battling Namor. In that pink outfit. Oh my days. So, we have two comics to be on the lookout for, guys, two. And the first of those comes from the Invaders run. And the issue came out in December of 1977. The first appearance of the first Scarlet Scarab, Abdul Faul, comes in Invaders issue 23. And this is a book that is heating up very, very nicely on eBay at the moment. We're talking 30 plus. So people have cottoned on to this one. And then the follow-up issue comes from December of 1982. And the first appearance of the second Scarlet Scarab, who was Mehmet Faul, comes in the Mighty Thor issue 326, guys. So that's Invaders 23 for the first Scarlet Scarab and Thor 326 for the second one, guys. If you're a bit of an MCU completist and you like the live action appearances, I think these books are for you. If nothing more, they're good for a flip. Add them to your radar next time you're out hunting.
Bye for now. Subscribe. Subscribe.